Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today is an exciting day. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this picture, I am sure you guys already know what day it is. You guys, I haven't done Fat Bitch Friday in so long, and that's the number one thing that people request from me is my Fat Bitch Friday looks. Now, just to let you guys know, I haven't done it in a while because I kind of wanted to step away from it and do other things and just not always do my makeup inspired by snacks, even though low-key, that's kind of what I do. Um, but yes, I am so excited to have another Fat Bitch Friday look for you guys, and I'm hoping to be able to do it every week or every other week. I don't want to, like, set a thing yet because I'm like, you know what? When I was doing it all the time on Instagram, people were like, uh, bitch, where the fuck is it at when I didn't do it? So I'm just going to kind of play it by ear and see how it goes and if this video gets a lot of thumbs up then I know you guys want to see it so I'm sure you guys can tell by the thumbnail what it's inspired by but here it is the cheese it's hot and spicy only because I don't like the regular ones they're just way too plain for my ass I like hot and spicy so this is my makeup with it let me feel my oats a little bit, girl. Um, I'm super fucking excited, you guys. Oh my gosh, when I was like sitting here like ready to film this and I got my yellow backdrop so that way it can match with the fucking red so it looks like McDonald's right here. I'm so excited, you guys. So I really love the way it came out. And the reason why I do Fat Bitch Friday is just to show everybody like, look, you could take these bad words and you could turn it into positivity and I embrace me being a fat bitch. That's just who I am because I know there were people that were offended by it, but you know what? Fat Bitch Friday is a day to empower and to inspire. And also you guys, because I got so much shit as you guys know when I was doing my Fat Bitch Fridays, people are like, this is so stupid. You're doing your makeup inspired by food. I'm just showing you guys there's inspiration all around us. And let's keep it real. Like look at the packaging, fucking red, green, yellow, oranges, it's just bomb ass colors. They know what they're doing with the packaging and I get really inspired by it and that's how I came up with this look and actually you guys, I'm not trying to toot my own horn but I fucking love it, like love it. Um, I know I sound super biased but there's some looks that I'm just like eh, they're whatever but this one I'm like, oh girl, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling myself. Okay, let me shut the fuck up, I'm keep on rambling. Okay, anyways you guys, if you guys wanna see more Fat Bitch Friday looks then go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up because that lets me know you guys want to see it and yeah, if you guys wanna see how I created this cheese it hot and spicy look, then go ahead and keep on watching, of course. But make sure you guys subscribe, okay? So, yes, if you guys want to see this tutorial, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, guys, so starting this off, I know I look weird as fuck because I'm baking right now because I'm like, I'm gonna go in on this shadow, so I don't want to get a ton of fallout all over my foundation. So, looking at this hot and spicy cheese it box right here, what's the main color that you see? Red, of course, but then you of course gotta factor in the color of the actual chip, so, and the yellow of course. So we're gonna go in today with reds, yellows, greens, and some oranges. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this look off with my MAC 224 taking chrome yellow, which is like my favorite yellow shade from MAC, which literally matches this backdrop right here. And I'm gonna take that very, very heavy handed on my 224 and go in on the crease. You guys, I feel like I'm gonna fuck up this video, just letting you guys know like, because I'm so excited. I've literally like been wanting to do a Fat Bitch Friday look forever, but I kind of wanted to step away for, from it for a bit so that way I could start doing other things. That way I just don't get stuck in the same as, you know, hot Cheeto tutorial routine. So I'm super excited to be doing this again and hopefully I'll be able to do it every other Friday or every Friday maybe, but I don't want to commit to that just yet. So yes, I'm just taking this chrome yellow and buffing that bitch on out in my crease and we'll be looking like a cheese it in no time. And I'm literally buffing that almost all the way up to the brow because I go so dramatic with my Fat Bitch Friday looks because it's where I have the most fun. So I like to like get really crazy and really vibrant with it. So many people when I first started doing Fat Bitch Friday talk shit about me like this is so stupid. But you know what guys? You guys can find inspiration literally anywhere. And yes, I'm a fat bitch and I love my motherfucking snacks. So when I go down the snack aisle of the grocery store and I see you know, snacks, and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at those color combos. Like, they know what they're doing with the packaging and stuff like that. So I'm like, let me get inspired by this. And it really, truly has inspired me. All right, and we're gonna go in with the shade Chickadee from Makeup Geek. And if you guys look at this box and Chickadee, literally, the fucking color is the same as the damn cheese it So, I feel like it's like the perfect color to go right up in the crease before we take some red in there because you know, you know I'm gonna go ham with that fucking red. So I'm just gonna take this literally right above the crease because I will be cutting it out a little bit and I'm just gonna blend that all up in there.
Okay, but like for real, you guys, like keep it real with a bitch. How excited are you that Fat Bitch Friday is back? Like, come on now. Fat Bitch Friday to me is just like, ugh, I don't know, everything. Literally, that's kind of like what made me on Instagram and even here. Bitch, don't be getting rude. My fucking neighbor is deciding to fucking saw some shit right now. Okay, but anyways, as I was saying, how fucking excited are you guys for Fat Bitch Friday? My damn neighbor had to go and fuck that shit up. Like, literally, let me know on a scale from 1 to 10 how fucking excited you are. I'm literally at, like, a level 10. I don't want to be one of those dramatic bitches and be like, oh, I'm at a level 150. But that's literally how I feel about it. You guys, I apologize in advance. My neighbor, it is fucking 7 o'clock at night, and this bitch is fucking drilling. Like, he's home all day, and he's gonna wait until fucking 7 o'clock to drill. Like, goddamn. Oh, bitch, it's getting louder. Woo-hoo, bitch. I'm trying to look like a cheese it box, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Okay, you guys, now he's banging. I'm sorry. But anyways, I'm going to go in with uh, Love Plus here, which is my favorite red by Sugar Pill. And look how perfectly it matches this fucking box. It's like perfect. So I'm taking my Morphe M507. You guys want to make sure when you guys are trying to match your food, match your snacks, you guys get the colors down right. So that way it just looks perfect, you know? So people can tell like, hey, that bitch looks like a hot and spicy cheese it box. You know what I'm saying? So let me shut the fuck up and let me just go ahead and get this on my brush here. And I'm going to take this all up in the crease. Once again, sorry for the drilling. I tried waiting a bit, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, he's not shutting up anytime soon, so bear with me. I'm sorry, you guys. And when using this red, you guys want to make sure you guys go heavy-handed with it, so that way it shows up a true red. And I'm going to take a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape with my MAC 242 and cut out the crease just a little bit. I always say just a little bit. I don't know why when it's like I cut the shit all the way out. But we're going to do this and I'm going to line it with some liner too to be like extra dramatic. So start this right here. Then I'm gonna take the shade by MAC called Undercurrent. Now, I do believe this is discontinued. So, don't hate me, but oh my gosh, the shade is fucking beautiful. And it matches the outer green like bomb. So, I'm just gonna line that up with the crease. Let's take it on the lid and blend it out first. Then I'm gonna take it in the outer corner. I'm gonna leave the center kind of blank because I'm gonna go in with a different green. Because if you notice on the box, it's like a deep green faded into a lighter green. So that's what I'm gonna do on my lid. Then I'm gonna take this really pretty green right here from the Art Nouveau um, palette by Saucebox. I think this shade is called uh, Jade. Is it Jade? I'm pretty sure it's called Jade. And I'm taking that on my um, MAC 242 and I'm just gonna place this on top of the eyeliner just to kind of clean up the edges a little bit and to set it. And you guys, I know I've said this before, but Saucebox, I feel like they're so underrated. Like their shadows are fucking bomb. All right, and then I'm gonna be taking this green, which I dyed over in my fucking review of this palette. This is the Mermaid Life palette, and this is the green right here. Wait till you guys see this shit. All right, you guys, so you know what that green is? Just like a little bit too teal-ish for me in the outer corner to match this like emerald green. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Enchanted Forest by Makeup Geek. And I'm just gonna run that over it just a little bit just to deepen up the outer corners to get that gradation of color that I want. Cause y'all know when I do my Fat Bitch Fridays, I be getting the colors on fucking point. And sometimes you gotta just like mix and match to get it the way that you want it. Cause not every shade is gonna match a little cheese it box perfectly, you know? And I'm just gonna dab that on top so that way I get a slow gradation of color and that way I don't like flick all the shimmer shades off. 
All right, you guys, and now for the fucking hard part. Say a prayer for me because this is gonna be tough. Um, every time I try to do this, I always like end up doing it off camera because it's like I have to get so close to it. I'm gonna be taking the NYX Vivid Brights Eyeliner in the shade Halo, which is this yellow here, and I'm gonna take that over the crease and then wing it out just a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna be super silent during this part, just letting you guys know because I have to concentrate like a mother, all right? So say a little prayer and let's hope this comes out good. All right, you guys, so that yellow was just like a little bit too pale, so I went over it with the Aqua XL M40, which is just the yellow one. And what I'm gonna do now is just do the line on top of my eye. Um, this one right here, though, I will say, like, I really love the pigmentation on it, but it does kind of crack a little bit, but so does the NYX. I just feel like making a yellow liner is just gonna crack, so there's really kind of no way around it, but uh, yeah, I just wanna let you guys know that, so if you guys ever do try, like, a yellow liner, it's honestly like inevitable I feel like I've tried a whole bunch of yellow liners and they just crack so uh, you guys if you guys are doing that don't like freak out and be like what the hell you know so that way I get the same color I'm gonna go ahead and go with the NYX vivid bright and put that on top first I started going in with the other one I was like wait this is gonna be brighter so let me lay this down first and then go in with that Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Aqua XL Yellow, and I'm just taking that on a little cheap um, eyeliner brush, and I'm just gonna go over that where I place the uh, other yellow from NYX. These you kind of do have to move fast with because they dry up really, really fast. So let's just paint this on the lid real fast. And I'm gonna do kind of like what I did on the top liner and just go in with it like vibrant yellow in the outer corner and then let it fade into the lighter yellow which is the one from NYX. All right, so then hopefully you can see there how I left it faded from the dark yellow into the light yellow. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the bottom part of the eye. So I'm gonna smoke it out with red. Where in the fuck is my brush? I am lost right now. I'm so hungry. I wanna like dive into these cheeses and fucking eat them. Um, you know what? Let me go ahead and take my Morphe M507 and just start with the red right underneath my eye. And then I'm gonna like take uh, my Morphe, I mean my Morphe, my Mac 242 and then do that as well, but I'm just gonna get it really concentrated right here. And then I'll end up blending it out with the yellow. Okay, then I'm going in with my flat brush right here, the MAC 242, and I'm just placing that right on the lash line so that way I get it like really, really red. All right, then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M506. This one right here is similar to the M507, just a little bit more rounded. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know what? Let me go ahead and wipe all this fallout out first so that way I don't make a mess. So we're just gonna dust that off. You gotta flick it so that way I don't fuck everything up. Ooh, poke myself in the eye. Oh, damn it. And now we're gonna go in with the yellow, basically like right on top of that. So that way it buffs it out into a nice orange and then you'll get the yellow showing up underneath. Then I'm gonna go back in with undercurrent from MAC and take that in my waterline. I'm gonna take the shade Karma and pop that in my tear duct. This is from Makeup Geek. It's kind of like a like a reflex gold looking one. It's weird, it's kind of like green, it's kind of gold, but it's really fucking pretty. So I'm gonna pop this right in the tear duct. All right, you guys, so we got that eye all complete. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera, pop on some lashes, and we'll come back and do my lip. All right, guys, and looking at this box, what color lip you think I'm gonna do? What, what you guess? Yellow, red, green? Red, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this Makeup Forever shade 401 and put that on my dick garage, AKA lips, 
And then I'm gonna do a little outline with it too because since it does have a big little square of green, I'm gonna like do a little hint of uh, green up in that bitch, I guess. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that I put on a highlight. You know, guys, you guys know my favorite highlight, the, uh, what's it called, Sauce Box uh, Festival Love. That's like my baby, like look at it. Oh, if you guys could only see it in person, it looks like butter. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. You know what, so I went ahead and like overdrew my lips so fucking much, so I'm just not gonna throw the accent of green in there, I just feel like it's gonna be too much, and plus the eyes kinda say it all, you know, it's a big old statement there. So yeah, this is my final look, inspired by my favorite Cheez-Its, the only good Cheez-Its, the hot and spicy one, cause I don't like the regular one. Well, I only tried the regular one and then these, the regular ones are just way too damn dry for me, these are my favorite. So yes, this is my look inspired by it. See, let you guys get a little look. Of course, I'll do a little zoom in and shit like that so you guys can see. So, um, like I said earlier, I'm gonna try to do uh, Fat Bitch Friday, hopefully every other week, maybe every week. Um, We'll just see, you know, I don't want to like say I'm gonna do it every single week because when I was doing it on Instagram every week And then I didn't do it people like got mad. They're like where the fuck is fat bitch Friday? Where's fat bitch Friday? And I'm just like, oh, I'm a little like burnt out of it. So I want to try something new So I'm glad to finally be bringing it back like you guys don't even understand how fucking excited I was to do this and there is a couple other of my favorite snacks that I want to do a look on too so um, I already saved the packaging for them because my fat ass already ate it like with this this box is fucking empty because I ate them all um, But I actually got another fucking box inside my room right now anyways That's off topic. So yes, hopefully I will be doing it more because I really do love to do this And I just want to show you guys that you could guys you guys could find inspiration literally anywhere like in a garden in, in a restaurant, in a damn grocery store, literally anywhere. So yeah, overall, I hope you guys really like the look. I love the turnout of it. I love my eyes. And you guys, you know, I put on this red lipstick in my Makeup Forever um, review, and everyone's like, that red looks so bomb on you. And I will say this shade of red is so bomb like i really do love it and i feel like it looks amazing with this look so yeah anyways if you guys like this video if you guys like this tutorial if you guys want to see more fat bitch fridays okay then give this a thumbs up because the more likes i get then of course i'll do it because then i know you guys want to see it and i haven't done a fat bitch friday in forever so i'm really hoping you guys like it so yeah give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and if you want me to do more fat bitch friday looks and make sure you guys subscribe and i will catch you guys in my next video peace out girl scout